New details at noon about a deadly house fire in southeast Atlanta this morning. CBS 46's Trayson Bragg is live at the home and Trayson fire officials sending a warning out to all those seeking to stay warm on these chilly nights. That's right, they are, Rob, and here's why. Take a look at all the damage that this deadly, fast-moving fire caused. I think the thing that woke me up first was probably the siren noises. The sirens came from Atlanta fire trucks racing to this vacant home on Galt Street in southeast Atlanta at 2 this morning. We do have a few abandoned houses on our block, but I don't think any of them have ever caught on fire. Well, sadly, this time that's exactly what happened. Fire crews tell me once they were able to gain control of the fast moving fire, they found a man dead inside the home. It's a shame to hear about someone losing their life, you know, to something as simple as trying to stay warm at night, you know, it's, it's a shame. Officials don't believe this was the man's home. All of its windows were boarded up except for one, which is how they believe he entered the home. Now, if you take a closer look, you can actually see the true damage of this fast moving deadly fire. We do believe the fire started in a, in a room where there was no uh, boards on the window. So it, it looked like the only exit for him to escape would have been through the room where the fire originated. Investigators are still working to learn the cause of the man's death. The way the fire was going through the home uh, and it looks like the way he was able trying to escape, he may have suffered from some smoke inhalation. It's sad. It's just sad. That's really all I have to say. You know, it's tough. Officials offering this warning to help avoid similar tragedies in the future. It's very unfortunate that this situation happened, but you know, people do try to stay warm. We just try to encourage them to do it safely and, and seek other methods of staying warm. Now, fire investigators say they are still working to learn exactly what caused this fire. Reporting live in Southeast Atlanta, I'm Trayson Bragg, CBS 46 News.